All right, so this is my uh, this is my new war driving mission. It's a uh, motion computing um, LS E hundred, and the cool thing about this thing is the chipset for it is already compatible with war driving, which is what I bought this thing for to begin with. I uh, I put Backtrack five on this, and uh, I had to install a. Um, Virtual keyboard since there's no since um, there's no keyboard as you can see for this tablet and I just wanted to just turn it on. There we go. Now it's on. All right, so I uh, I paid about uh, well there's a price right there on like you're over there. So you load them right in. That's how much I paid for it right there. That's the price I paid for it. So if I can uh, scroll over, there it is. Motion computing. One ninety nine ninety six, and this is it right here. So pretty much what I did was is um, I watched uh, Darren from Hack Five. He uh, made a video on how to uh, basically uh, bypass the um, the login screen for Backtrack, so you don't have to log in with the username root and the password tour and then stardex and all that shit so that saved me um, some trouble with having to uh, carry a keyboard around with me so now I have uh, I have auto login system for this so it auto logs in without having to enter any of that in and I got my stylus over here Let's see if I can hold the camera and use my stylus at the same time alright so as you can see, this is Backtrack, Backtrack 5 RC1, and I guess hopefully the I won't get no error on this when I go to uh, jerk my fly cracker. Alright, so there's Jerk's Wi-Fi Cracker Dash Engine, and as you can see, I've got no wireless hooked up to it. No, uh, no Alpha Network Adapter hooked up to this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here to the General Configuration tab. And as you can see, there's a chipset for it, so I can put it in a monitor mode. No, I actually see a guy in monitor mode, Mon Zero. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and scan networks. This baby is nice for war driving right here. And if I want to, I could always bring the uh, Alpha Networks adapter with me. Here's my wireless network right here. I'll go ahead and go up here to the APT tab. Start sniffing and logging. There's my Aero Dump, as you can see. See if I can make this a little smaller. There we go. Alright, so I've got my Aero Dump running. I'll go ahead and Start the uh, WPA tab and load the victim and do the de authentication. I got the uh, yep, got the handshake and I got the handshake with it. So that's pretty much all I have to do. Crack my own WPA wireless network. <laughs> Got the handshake really fast with this um, motion computing LS800 tablet that I bought on eBay. It's pretty awesome. I would say uh, this is going to be a great war driving machine right here. Everything works on uh, on Backtrack. So I just wanted to do a quick video on this to show you guys my cool little toy that I got now. So this has been uh, Matthew here from 
Fiber Optics Productions on YouTube, even though I'm uploading this on my other YouTube account. Just figured I'd do this quick video to show you guys. Because <laughs> I didn't do an unboxing of it. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I guess I'll do a quick look at it and whatnot. That's pretty much all that it is. It's just a tablet. And got two USB ports right here. And some vents and VAG port and whatnot. Just, uh, comes, it, it's, uh, for Windows, but, uh, it runs fine on Backtrack 5. Uh, the only problem I had with this really was, um, the fact that, uh, tablets have to have a virtual keyboard. And if you're going to be traveling with them, be, you're going to be using Linux. You have to have a virtual keyboard so that you can type with it and all. I had to download a Matchbox Dash keyboard from the App Dash Git Market. From the App Dash, from the repository, I mean. I had to download from the repository and install it from my backtrack so that I can use a keyboard with this. So, you know, you don't have to carry a keyboard with you, it's got with it. Kind of like how Windows does for the tablets and all. And that's pretty much all I had to do to get it working. And as you can see, I can war drive with this tablet with no <laughs> no uh, Wi-Fi antenna needed. But uh, I can always use my Alpha network adapter to do it. Pretty cool though. 120, uh, $200 for this little tablet, and it works great. It's got uh, some fingerprints on it for my my big fingers touching the screen, but uh, nothing that a wipe can't fix. All right. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or anything like that, you can uh, leave them below in the description. Anyways, thanks for watching.